The Thoroughbred Education and Research Foundation Makeover Masterclass brings together some expert trainers with off-the-track thoroughbreds, working with three horses freshly off the track with different aftercare organizations, learning some tips to prepare for the 2020 Thoroughbred Makeover. Hi, my name is Elisa Wallace. I'm a five-star event rider and I also train wild mustangs. And I actually was able to win the RRP last year with one of my horses reloaded. And so it's really great to be here this year and uh, really excited and, and proud of what the RRP does for the thoroughbred horses. My biggest tip is really just listening to the horse. And sometimes I found like I'm going nice and slow, but then the horse actually wants more. They want Oftentimes the thoroughbreds are so smart and they want to be challenged a little bit and so sometimes you have to up your game some. I like to take this time a little bit so I have a little bit more work with the car. Okay. Thoroughbreds are bred to go forward so oftentimes we're trying to hold them back but I found if you allow them uh, that space and energy that, that then that can help them relax more. So I just kind of see what is there and then kind of go on a feeling of what that horse... First, I really like to build the connection um, and a relationship with the horse, especially when I don't know. But oftentimes I'll just get on and see. Sometimes my first ride, they'll jump a couple of jumps and they're doing some nice flat work. Or sometimes it's just, hey, we're hanging out and um, doing some softening body work. So it just really depends on the horse. Having a happy horse and a confident horse is what I really want. I'm Douglas Nunn. I'm a thoroughbred horse trainer um, from New Jersey at Monmouth Park. I've been born and bred in this business and next jockey and now turned to thoroughbreds off the track to try to help the organizations and rescues to make sure they all have responsible homes and second careers. The best part is to get a connection with them. There's really not a bad horse out there. Everybody says there is, but it's really just getting to know a horse and getting their confidence in you and rider. After that, a horse will become your best friend, and that's the easiest thing. After they've become your best friend, you can work with any of them off the track. As I put my leg on, he's not as happy as he was before. He's kind of growling at it a little bit. They've not had a lot of desensitizing. In the racetrack business, we kind of don't sit in the saddle very long. We go very fast and very forward. So their second careers, they need to learn to slow down, respect the riders, and really be able to bend and turn, which they don't have to do as much in racing. I'm Emily Broyer Curtis from Lexington, Kentucky. I'm a dressage trainer in the area, and I compete on all different breeds and specialize in thoroughbreds off the track, repurposing for the sport of dressage. I love how forward the thoroughbreds come to me initially. That's the fun part, because with the warm bloods and other breeds, a lot of the time you have to create that forward push and the thoroughbreds by nature generally have that it makes the training a lot easier. I would say that there are two main things I would focus on with any horse and that's tempo control and then the way they carry their body and so if you can kind of address those two things most of the time you can control and, and really have a successful ride. Well, I've watched these horses go from um, not being able to bring a lot of money to bringing actually a fair amount of money comparable to some of my other horses and it's kind of fun to watch the desire to own a thoroughbred grow each year. The problem is I might leave here with a couple extra horses. I'm Sergio de Souza from uh, Hiddenbrook Farm. I'm partner manager of a large thoroughbred operation in central Kentucky and also I'm a participant at the thoroughbred makeover. For our program um, you really need to listen to the horse. Um, you, can, you have to mold your program to each, each individual. If it is uh, the mental aspect, if the physical aspect, uh, it takes a long time for some horses to, we call the detox of the racetrack. If it's the, the bodies or if the, the feet, uh, the feeding program, you need to learn to adjust to all that to hopefully get the best of, from your horse for whatever discipline you're gonna participate. So we finished up the Makeover Masterclass. Emily Brawl, your Curtis, how did it go with Normandy Crossing? It couldn't have gone better. He was awesome, super willing. He's going to make somebody an awesome horse in the future. For you, Elisa? Mine was um, extravagant in certain areas. So we had some fun bareback playing time. So you did really great handling the atmosphere. And so it's going to be a great athletic, talented horse. And Douglas? I was very pleased. I think the horse came out with a little... Uh, nerves but ended on the right track and definitely can handle any pressure that you put upon them. So all kinds of possibilities from this first ride. We look forward to following the horses, maybe even seeing them next year at the 2020 Thoroughbred Makeover. Thank you.